Hello, and today is October the 11th, 2019. So, today I'm doing reviews. Um, I did a review currently on breast pumps. If you haven't seen that video, please be sure to go over there and look at that video before you get into this one. If you are a breastfeeding mother. If not, and you are here because you want to hear about the review on um, baby formulas, milk formulas, whatever, stay tuned. Thank you for all my subscribers. I love you. And so if you're new here, please hit the subscribe button, like a video, share my videos. I would love to have you. Thank you. So I'm going to get right into it. Okay, so first up, and by the way, these videos are not sponsored. You know what? I was going to start with my favorite. I'm not going to start with my favorite. I'm going to start out with uh, Gerber. So, doing a comparison, um, my videos are not sponsored, like I said, but however, I want to give a take on how my baby responded to the formulas. Now, this um, might not be, this might not happen to your baby. Your might, baby might love one or the other. I'm not for sure, but I'm just going to tell you what I had and what happened. So, I primarily breastfeed. However, I do supplement with formula. And when I do, I have been given, I am on WIC, so... Um, they're in my state, which is North Carolina. They are sponsored by, or they are whatever. Um, their their to goes is the Gerber formulas. So they started him out on with the gentle HMO, and hmm, I don't want to say anything bad about it because it helped me out. It helped me and my son out. But he did not take well to this formula. I'm not going to say this one because currently we're using this one to see how it goes. But, and he just started, not even a week. So I can't give my honest review, review on this one. But however, this one, he used this for quite a while. Now, I'm just going to start with the basics. Okay, and I'm going to read off probably like five, if I can read these things, the first few ingredients. So the first ingredient is whey, whey or whey protein concentrate from milk, um, enzymatically hydrolyzed, reduced in minerals, vegetable oils, palm olive, soy, coconut, high, um, I can't say that word, and it's safflower or high aflatoxin sunflower, and lactose and corn multi production so those are the first ingredients the first one is the whey, whey protein from milk that's the first one vegetable oils are next that's the second and the third is the safflower fourth is the lactose and the fifth is the corn metrodox so those are the five first five it's important to read the ingredients people on what is first and where it comes because that's what it means is the base of the product and the first thing and the most of the product it is. So I'm not sure if that is what was irritating my son, but let me tell you what he had. So he got the eczema from this and also my son was not able to make his own bowel movements. Um, He would go days without it i would have to actually give him an enema every three to four days this went on for weeks because i was sure that in just a few weeks it would end two weeks they said oh it's normal it's normal it didn't it didn't end so i need to say this was not that great for my son and we don't prefer it so we no longer use this okay so that takes me to this one. 
I got a sample of this, okay? And because I had this sample, we tried it. And let me just tell you, my son's eczema cleared up. My son had a regular bowel movement. And needless to say, well, actually, let me just back on up, back on up. Before we started using the Gerber, okay, we were already using this. He was having a regular bowel movement with this. As soon as this ran out, I started to use my Wick formula. And he stopped having a regular bowel movement. And I thought it was, it was a phase that would go away. Okay, so we used this for about two months or so. No, not two months because he is two months. We used this for at least a month and a half. We used it for a while. I had to go back and purchase this. And guess what? His skin cleared up and he started having bowel movements on his own. Just from changing. So I had an issue and this is the reason why I'm making this video to all the people who may be going through a similar situation as I was. I told his pediatrician about this multiple times as soon as it started happening I let her know. Like I said I gave it a while I just didn't just go off and she said well let it go away this and that's normal this and that third happens when babies become two weeks or more three weeks or whatever that happens this and that third because before he became one month he was on this and he was already having the issues. Okay I went along with it. But y'all, I could not stand to see my baby, who was normally a happy baby, who was normally peaceful and calm, uh, cry and scream and be irritable and all of those things. So, and he was vomiting, having reflux. He was just going through the most. He was just going through the most. So I was trying to trust my pediatrician. Anyway, like I said, once this, I, I just had to go. I had to just change, just to see, just to see. And once I did, y'all, I'm so glad I did because this actually worked. Now, take all that out the side. We're not even going to worry about that it stay um, closest to breast milk. We ain't going to worry about the gimmicks, the flashiness, and all this because they all promote that. Look at this. HMO. Um, I think this, do this say? They don't even say the 2FL on here. I don't see it. It might do. Yes, it do. Down there. Down there it says it. So... We're going to take all that out because they all have claimed to have the same thing. And at the bottom, it definitely does say it has that stuff in all of these. As you can see, I read the first five ingredients off of this one. And I told you what it says. The first five ingredients off of this one. Let me just go so I can get to the point. The first five ingredients are non-fat milk. That's the first ingredient. What is this? This is milk, right? Supplement formula, right? The first ingredient is actually milk. Okay. The second one I'm not too keen on, but however, it is in the other one as well, is lactose. So that means there's more sugar in this one. But the first ingredient is milk. Second ingredient is in the other one. It is whey protein concentrate. The second, I mean the third, the fourth ingredient is high oleic soft flour oil. Soy oil, coconut oil is the other one. Those are the first five ingredients. Non-fat milk, lactose, whey protein, soft flour, Soy. I don't know. And the rest of it are in both of these. They got the same thing. The rest, the rest of the ingredients both had the same things, which includes, and it says less than 2% of both of them. So they all say that. I just want to read off the first five ingredients. But anyway. Anyway. Um, my baby tolerated this very, very well. That's all I'm going to say about that. Now. This is very expensive. So, what I did was, because I tried to research it everywhere, could not find it. 
I looked it up in YouTube videos, comparable, 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 because I wanted something that I could afford if I could not use the wig, because my son's pediatrician would not prescribe him a um, prescription to change it, even though he was it's not tolerable. She would not change it. Okay, so I just needed something that would make my son be able to use the bathroom on his own. Keep in mind, y'all, if y'all worried about me and this this right here having a whole lot of sugar in it, sugar, 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 because the second ring is lactose, let me just say this. You know what my doctor recommended me do? The Caro Surf. The Caro Surf. You know what Caro Surf is? Sugar. Lord have mercy, you. So every single day, at least two ounces, I had to give him sugar anyway. Um, which this, within the first five ingredients, has lactose. It's not that much sugar, but it has it. And then I have to put more sugar on top of that. It's already sugar in there. And one put more. Matter of fact, the corn maltrodox. That sounds like sugar to me. I'm not sure. I'm going to look it up. But I don't want to get no false information. I'm just saying. I ain't going to go there no more. Leave that alone. <clears throat> so, if you want a comparison to this, maybe it's a little bit cheaper. Infamil. They had the same ingredients. I'm going to read them off. Non-fat milk. Lactose. Non-fat milk is the first ingredient. Lactose is the second ingredient. Vegetable oil is the third, um, which is the palm olive, the, then the coconut, then the soy, then the sunflower, and then um, and then at the end is the wheat, wheat protein. So this has less wheat protein. So basically, they all have the same ingredients. However, it's the order in which they are, which has more, which has less. Milk is the first is the first ingredient in both of these. Milk. Oh, okay, I'm just gonna leave that there. I don't know if this would be more. I did not give him this because at first sign of me giving him this, he started to spit up. This is the first incident when he was starting to spit up. Because after I ran out of this, which was a sample given, this was also a sample given, we tried this just to see. This was great. This was a spit up moment. Then you spit up even more on this one. Now we're currently on this one, and let's read the ingredients just for the sake of purposes of this video. The first ingredient in this one is corn maltodextrin. <sighs> we protein from concentrate from milk. Hydro, um, uh, uh, I can't even say that correctly, but I think it's en enzymatically hydrolyzed. Okay. Um. So. Hmm. So let's read that again. Corn metrodoxin, wheat protein concentrate from milk. Um. Uh. Enzymatically hydrolyzed. Um. Reduced in minerals, vegetable oils, palm olive, soy, coconut, high. Um. Electric safflower or high electric sunflower. All right, so they basically all have the same ingredients. It's just the one that's um, this is supposed to be their gentle. So there is um, corn metrodox is the first one. We protein is the um, second one. And uh, yeah, this does not mention um, the first ingredient or the ingredient period. They just have the wheat protein from the milk concentrate. This is not mentioned at all. Milk. All right. And what I want to be last but not least, all products are not created equal because this is their gentle. And like I said, the corn matrix is the first ingredient. The first ingredient in this one. Corn syrup solids, vegetable oil, palm olive, coconut soil, high um electric sunflower oils, partially hydrolyzed non-fat milk and wheat protein concentrate from solids 
soy wheat protein. All right. So there you have that. If you are looking to what is comparable or compatible with what you have, whether you cannot afford it, whether you're just trying to go out, just read it. I just do your own research like I had to do because I looked for it everywhere. I was trying to get advice. I went to my doctor, baby doctor, a couple of times to ask him what is what is more compatible that is affordable that my baby can tolerate. Some be yeah, tolerate that is basically the same thing. Now, one one product that the Similac here will cover is um. N neuro lord i don't want to say the wrong thing i don't want to say the wrong neuro neuro sure no neuro sure neuro sure something like that by similac and it is basically the same um ingredients as this one um when i read the ingredient base it started with basically the same one non-fat milk and then it went on and on so they are reduced in mineral size, and it's, it will help his little tummy. So, I'm going to go try to go for that. Hopefully, that works. But, for me, this is what works for my baby. I tried the sensitive kind, too. That worked as well. Right now, we're on this. I'm going to give this a try. I'm going to let it work. I'm, I'm going to see. We're going to use this for a little while just to test it out. Um, And if he continues to make bowel movements and things like that with this we're gonna stick with this i'm not i want to keep changing my baby's formula but anyway yeah they all are non-gmo they all have the f2l i mean 2fl and they all are hmo okay so all the hype with the colors and stuff like that what it say closest to breast milk and all this kind of stuff don't go with the hype read the ingredients or what's in your stuff I made that video long. I apologize. But anyway, that is my spill on it. Do your research. And then whatever is close, just look at the ingredients and all the other milks. What is comparable, what is the first five ingredients um, on it, if it's the same or whatever. See what your baby is allergic to, not allergic to, whatever. We're going to see how this works if this start messing with my baby's skin again he started getting eczema or whatever because the eczema actually had chilled a whole i mean went down we got it off of his arms his um arms and his legs he was getting in. i used baby alvino that's a whole nother subject and a whole nother video but anyway yeah my to go to though for real for real would be the similac first and then anything else that comes Anything else that um, formula ingredients are the same. Anyway, I'm not sponsored. Trust and believe this is not a sponsored video. I had to pay every bit of this $30 and plus some for this. Okay. But have a great day. Bye.